Good morning, Grade Twos. I hope that you are all well, and I hope that you've had a good week. It's Friday, the 17th of July, 2020. It's the end of another week, and we have two more weeks left of this term. So I hope that you are going to work hard till the end of the term, and then hopefully we get to see more of you next term. So for Bible today, we're going to be looking at courage. And what is courage? And you can see there Joshua 1 9 says, Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Okay, we're going to look, if you look at this picture, I just thought it was quite a sweet picture to show what courage is. If you look carefully, you can see um, the crocodile has his mouth open. But the three ducks are riding on the crocodile's back. And it says courage is contagious. So obviously, the one little duck decided to hop onto the crocodile and the other two ducks followed. Because they thought, well, if he can do it, we can also do it. And the croc with his mouth wide open, ready to eat the ducks, but they're not scared. They're just taking a ride on the back of the crocodile's back. So... If you look at this picture and to explain what courage is, you can see that courage is the ability to do something that frightens you. So it must have been, for these little ducks, it's quite scary to hop onto an animal's back that wants to eat you. But they've done it. They've been brave and they followed each other as well. So courage is the same as being brave. Deuteronomy 31.6 says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. So it's very easy to be afraid of things. But it's God who gives us the courage to be brave and to do the things that make us scared. It says here, courage is just another word for being brave. Courage means you can stand up to fear and face it. Think about a firefighter. When they get a call about a fire, they probably have some fear. Because fire is scary and unpredictable, meaning you don't know what's going to happen with, with a fire. And there is a chance that they can really get hurt. But they have to run into the fire in order to put it out. They have to have the courage to face the fear and do what has to be done. It's the same with us. When we're afraid of going to a new school or trying out for a new team, we have to be brave and courageous too. But here's the good news. We don't have to do it alone. God will help us to have courage to face our fears. Hey kids, have you ever been really afraid? Maybe it was after a really scary dream, or maybe it was because your room is really dark, or maybe it was during a loud storm. Everyone is afraid sometimes, and that's why we need a little something called courage. That's what our lesson is about today, and it's from Psalm 27. There's no need for fear if the Lord is your light. The guy that wrote the psalm was named David, and he had a lot of enemies. He had a lot to be afraid of, but here's the first verse he wrote in this psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? David knew that with God by his side, he didn't have to be afraid. And that's the same for us. When we have God in our hearts, he will always protect us. God invites us to talk to him whenever we are afraid. People do some pretty weird things when they're afraid, like screaming or running around or pulling their hair out. But have you ever thought when you were afraid that you could just talk to God? You can talk to him and ask him to help you make you brave. In fact, he wants you to do that. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. It's that easy. It doesn't matter how scary the situation is. God is always willing to talk. So next time you're feeling afraid, tell God about it and ask him to make you brave. 
The key to courage is waiting for God to show up. That's what David tells us at the end of this psalm. Memory verse. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Whenever David started to feel afraid, he worked hard to remind himself that God is bigger than his fear. He knew that if he asked God to make him brave, he would do it. He just had to wait patiently. Keep that in mind. When you ask God to make you brave, it doesn't happen right away. So kids, next time you have a bad dream or feel afraid in the dark, think of this lesson. Remember that God is there with you, and if you ask, he'll help make you brave. Hey kids and parents, if you want to learn more about fear or courage, check out the links below. Okay, so as the video said, there's no need to be scared because if you pray and ask God for courage, he will help you to be brave and courageous. And all you need to do is talk to God. Talk to him and ask him to help you be brave and courageous. And remember to be patient when, when you pray. Because God may not always answer you immediately, but he will answer you. So let's go into a time of prayer. Let's close our eyes. Lord, grant me courage as I go through this day. When I am tempted to give up, help me to keep going. Grant me a cheerful spirit when things don't go my way. And give me courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name, Amen. Haven't I commanded you? Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. Be strong and courageous.
The task for today, you're going to complete page 24 in your yellow Bible books. If you open up onto page 24, you see the heading courage, and it says find out what courage is by reading the words below. It says circle the words in the crossword puzzle. You can go vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So there are the words on the side, and you are going to find those words in your word search and circle them. And make sure that with each word that you find, you go understand what the word means and how it is related to courage. So if you need to, you can use a dictionary and it will explain to you what the word means. Use colors, make it look pretty and have a lot of fun doing it. And never ever forget that God is always with you and he will always make you brave and courageous. Thank you, Great Twos. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.